That's right, treat men like dogs. I said it. I don't mean bad dogs. I don't mean bad bitches. I mean treat a man like a dog. Think about this. When you walk in a dog, how many times does he stop and sniff a tree? He don't discriminate against the tree. He sniffs all trees. Anything. He's sniffing it. Ask your man how many asses does he sniff today? You might not like the answer. But if you train him right, your ass might be the only ass he's sniffing. And you know how to train a dog to sit down, stand up, speak, roll over, lay, you know, handshake. You gotta introduce a dog things incrementally. It's called repetition. And you gotta do it while he's still young. You gotta do it when the relationship is still young from the beginning. You gotta show a man how to treat you. You do something good, give him a treat. You don't just tell him sit one time and he get it. Nah, you gotta train him into that. You gotta get him to sit, get him to understand that he'd get a treat if he sits. Then you gotta tell him when and where to sit. He'll sit and stand on cue if you do this right. You wanna know what I think the treat is? What well, I think the number one treat is that men want? It's your poo tang, your na na, your vajayjay, that ooh wee, your miss madam, that mm, mm, mm. Your good stuff, your roller coaster, your swoosh, that wet wet, that water in the hole. That's the treat. That's the treat that'll make them howl every time. Y'all probably wondering why I'm naked. It's cause it's hot as hell in my apartment for some reason. And I'm too cheap to cut on the goddamn on air conditioner. I say withhold the treats. Withhold the treats. Don't give him the treats immediately. He don't know you. I mean, I don't know if you want to take my advice. I'm on YouTube, butt ass naked. It's called selling your soul. You heard of it? I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I just want to be free. I'm butt ass naked on YouTube. That says a lot about my character. You know how I know what the number one treat is for men? And you wanna know how I know it's that ooh ooh? It's because there's plenty of dudes watching this video right now hoping I make a slight move and accidentally show my breasts. Lean back, lean back, just a little bit. They wait for it, they want me to lean back some more. Just a little bit so I can see a little bit of today. You don't wanna give up your treats too early. You understand what I'm saying? You don't wanna give up your treats. Your treats is your bargaining tool. And no matter how many times a man try to make you feel some kind of way, make you feel like a hoe, because he's saying he gotta pay for dinner, and he might as well go pay for a prostitute. But this what the things I need you to understand about your vagina. We all got vaginas. My vagina is just as good as your vagina. Vagina just as good as my vagina. Vagina is all the same. So here's the thing that you really, really have to try to figure out gotta try to figure out how to get the guy to stay after he hit. You want to make your treats specific to a man, you got to get him emotionally invested in you. And you know how to get a man emotionally invested in you. That means he needs to take some time to get to know who you are without sex clouding his judgment and yours. But you know, what do I know? You know, I'm just a butt naked chick. Well, you do. My name. My back, lick my ooh and my ooh. You know what they say about those chicks that get butt naked on camera. <laughs> can't nobody tell me I can't get naked on YouTube. Can't nobody tell me that. Ooh, the wind, the ceiling fan is just, oh, right there. Instead of putting him on a leash like you would a dog, you just let him roam free. You just go out with him. Let him roam free. Let him do whatever it is that he needs to do for him, and he'll come back. That's how dogs are. I mean, that's how men are. You know, you know where home at. Come on now. You've been giving him them treats like you're supposed to incrementally, inch by inch by inch by inch, but slowly. That's what the thing is. Y'all got to have some patience around here. God, you want a man so bad, so desperately, you can't wait. You're like, a biological clock is ticking. I'm single. All of my friends are married. I've been single for X amount of years, and all of my friends are getting married and having kids, and I'm not having any of that. Trust me, there was a time when those people were single, too. Both of them. Husband and wife was single. Your friends were single at one time, but y'all was at the club hanging together. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? It ain't three. Just saying, if you let him get to the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop with just three licks, hit it and quit it. Stick it and move it. Good luck with that.